Jen Craig, about three months worth of rainfall drenched South Louisiana over the weekend, leaving entire communities underwater. The Red Cross has called for a national team to help with the relief efforts, including some folks here in Nebraska. The rain in Baton Rouge has stopped. Problems are just starting for Louisiana flood victims. Devastated. Um, I've cried all day. Um, my whole life, savings, everything is in that home. As thousands of people left their flooded homes to seek shelter, the Red Cross quickly mobilized a massive relief effort to provide shelter, food, medical assistance, and comfort. Especially when it's a bigger disaster like this one is, we pull the folks nationally if we need to, and Nebraska is always great about sending volunteers. Gail Palmer is one of several Nebraska volunteers going to Louisiana to help. Every disaster is a little different, but just seeing the destruction, no matter what the disaster is, it's just heart-wrenching to see that people have lost their homes, they have nothing, and they're trying to rebuild. Palmer says the Nebraska team has sent 15 Red Crossers and three emergency vehicles to the flood area. More help from Nebraska should arrive Friday. She says a local Red Cross gets much support from people in the area who want to help. Oh, the support has been great. You know, we've already heard, you know, of people that want to send down truckloads of clothing. Palmer says while all donations are appreciated, in a disaster like this one, money helps more than donation items. And if the people are living in a shelter at the moment, they're living in a five by eight foot space. They don't have room to put belongings like that. They don't have somewhere to put canned goods. The Red Cross has set up nearly 50 Red Cross community shelters in Louisiana. If you would like to volunteer or need more information on how to donate, visit their website, www.redcross.org. Reporting live from the studio, Maya Signs, KMTV Action 3 News.